Another shirt. Clyde is saying, hey, this guy's pretty good. And Clark's saying, geez, he's everything I thought he was. You have to take that premise that anyone that climbs in the ring with you is good. Yeah. You're not, you don't do that. You're in a lot of trouble. There's some good punches. And Clark is up against the ropes. Ray has them, but they're really just wrestling there. There were a couple of good punches thrown, not damaging punches. Nothing was scored up against the ropes. And look at Clark come back. Uppercuts. Clyde is cut. There's a cut on the right eye of Clyde Gray. Cut over the right eye, and that could be trouble. The crowd springs to life. This is only the second round. And already Clyde Gray is cut. You see the blood, it's all over Clark as well. Over the right eye, right on the brow. That could prove to be trouble later on. We certainly don't want to see this fight called because of cuts. We'd like to see something a little more decisive than that. And Clark is tattooing that cut. He seems to be cut right at the corner of the eyebrow. Clark sees it and he's really going after it. Fans here, 10,000 was springing to life. Gray really pushed Clark back with a good right there. The cut remains. And uh, Gray is really bleeding quite easily at this point. That's Clark, an angry cut right now. Clark's really working on it. Everything yes, he throws is. goes to that cut. Another good series by Clark. 45 seconds left to go in the second round, and already this fight is really really taking a good turn here with that cut. You can bet one thing, though. Gray's corner will really go to work to seal that one up. And if he can stay away for a couple of rounds, it'll be OK. Well, Clyde's fortunately has Dr. Joe Greenberg uh, in his corner, who's a capable cut man. Chris Clark has his eyes set on that cut. Corner of the brow, over the right eye. Scores again. And so here is round three, scheduled 15 round of British Commonwealth title on the line in the welterweight class. And Clark really doesn't waste any time. He's going after that cut again. He sees his opening. They appear to have that cut under control, but Clark slipped in there with the left. No opening on the cut. We're going to keep a very close watch on it. That has been Clyde Gray's history. Solid right snare, and Clyde comes back with a right. Clyde Gray has a lot of fight in him. Don't by any means get the impression we're writing him off. Anybody with 80 pro fights has been there before, knows how to get out of tough spots. Both fighters right now are pitching. There are some good punches being thrown here. Solid exchange there. There's going to be some good punches here tonight. Clyde's looking to lead with that right hand, that big sucker right hand. We're in round three here, just approaching the midway point. The big story of this fight so far was round two. When Clark opened up a cut over Gray's right eye, the crowd now picking up the uh, cheer. Hard to tell if they're saying go Clark go or go Clyde go. I'm a little trouble myself trying to find out who they're rooting for. Of course, they're both Nova Scotian fighters, so it could be either one. Minute and a half left to go in the third round. Fighters not sparing anything. They're really going full out. I'd be surprised if this went 15 rounds at this pace. And the cut is reopened. The corner of the right eye of Clyde Gray. That's the thing we're going to have to watch throughout this fight. I think what you'll see too, Clyde oh, is going to have to throw caution to the wind right now and empty out. Solid punch. Clark has been able to open that cut up again. Clyde's not about to give in here. Anytime you get a fighter on the ropes, there's trouble for somebody. The thing you have to notice, too, is Clyde is landing a lot of body shots, and what that does over 15 rounds. Well, that takes its toll. There's no question about that. But if Clark can keep him in the middle of the ring, uh, that'll be to his advantage. Final 30 seconds of round three. Action back so far. And as we've been saying all along, the story so far is the cut over the right eye, the corner of the right eye of Clyde Gray. There was another one. Clark landed another left on that eye.
only seems to be a small trickle from the eye at this moment. Now it's opened up again. Yes, it has. There's in round three. We're now into round five, scheduled 15 rounder, British Commonwealth welterweight title on the line. Chris Clark against Clyde Gray. Clark, obviously the challenger, but he has been able to open up a cut. There's some solid leather traded there. Clark opened up a cut in the second round, reopened it in the third, reopened it again in the fourth. It's a cut under, or not under, actually. It's at the midway point of the brow. Good right Clyde hand Gray. by Gray. Oh, they're really trading the punches Clark here. Look right out. Back. Look out, and that cut is reopened again in round five for the fourth successive time. Clyde Gray is bleeding, but did he ever land a right there? He opened the cut much wider. There's some solid punches here. You have to wonder at this point, how can these fellas possibly fight for 15 rounds? They're really trading the leather. There's not a soft punch in the group. And look at the blood on Clyde Gray's face. The saving point of that is, as we said before, it's not bleeding into the eyes, bleeding around the eye. Ungerman calling for a series of punches. Clyde Gray, but they're not coming about so far. Minute and a half to go in the fifth round. And a solid punch again by Clark. Straight left by Clark. That hurt. Of course, it landed right on the cut. An uppercut. That had to hurt. This is a brawl. Beautiful punches being traded here. There hasn't been a soft one yet. Showing a lot of willingness, a lot of determination. He wants to fight. Yep. The crowd has all but forgot the preliminaries now. Good right hand Solid by Gray. Right. That right shocked Chris Clark. There was a punch that was actually under the belt. But Clyde Gray appears to be scoring now. Clark regressing. Another right oh, hand. There was another one. But Clark, well, he's trying to come back. And a left hook. seconds of this round, final 30 seconds. Both fighters getting very, very tired at this point. Very, very tired. Clark gave him everything he had. There is some trouble on the ropes now. Look at Clyde. He's scoring that will. But quickly, quickly, Chris Clark comes back. of round six now. Let's congratulate Dr. Joe Greenberg in the corner. He's got that cut stopped again. The cut was open in the second round and opened in every round since. We're going to watch for it again, but Clyde is really landing some dynamite punches. Definitely the hardest fight Chris Clark has ever had. They're both landing good punches. It's open again, Vince. Just a little bit there, but it's open. The only mark in Chris Clark is a, a little mouse under the uh, left eye. Clyde really hasn't worked on it. He's worked more in the body punches. One thing he has been able to do, though, is to get Clark up against the ropes. Well, as I mentioned before, that's where Clyde shines, in close. Another one by Clark, left to that cut over the right eye of Gray's. Clyde has been very effective. Clark been very effective keeping that cut open. Stick, stick, stick. Approaching the halfway mark of the sixth round, scheduled 15 rounder. We said it time and time again. It's hard to believe both fighters will be in this kind of shape after 15 rounds. So who wins this fight? They do us all a service by having a rematch. There's no question about that. He's thrown more letter than a shoemaker sees in a lifetime. <laughs> Both landing solid punches.
combinations, not one punch. Right hand, left hook, follow it up, not just one punch. Both appear to be somewhat tired at this point, although they are still landing good punches. Sixth round, they've gone full out. You'd have to expect them to lull in here. Next couple of rounds to slow down just a bit. seconds left in round seven. The final five seconds and these last two rounds have been incredible. There it is, the end of round seven. We're into round eight now. Clyde Gray has really socked Chris Clark the last two fights, but he's taken everything. The youngster has taken it and come back. The cut over Clyde Gray's right eye, the big question. 
question. And how much can Chris Clark take? He got rocked again by another right. Those short rights by Gray are really taking their toll. Now the 10,000 plus people have settled down quite a bit. There was a fight over there. Clark seemed to be gained his composure somewhat. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you one thing about what goes on outside the ring here. Every time that Irv Ungerman comes to town, somebody always wants to take a poke at him. It was a question that Irv may not be in the corner for this fight. There was some he'd been fined, and apparently they say he paid his fine, did they? Well, knowing Irving, I doubt that very much. I'll just say that probably some charity received a little bit of money today. Well, that clarifies a few things, and so much for the uh, discipline. Let's get back to the fight. Nothing can detract from this one. Look at the leather being thrown. This is incredible. Here we are, round eight, past the halfway point of the fight, and these fellas are still going full blitz. You notice now Clark is up on his toes. And a minute and a half left to go in round eight. Good left hook by Gray. Solid punches. That is reopened again. That hurt. And Clark that is hurt. slapped. What a punch. Clark is slapped. He's wobbling. Gray, very tired. They both go into the ropes. They're both just exhausted. But Clark is taken. Hook. Good right hand. Another one. Straightens Clark right out. He's Clark wobbling. Clark definitely hurts. It's a question of can Gray finish him off. Clark has taken everything the last three rounds. Gray has not been able to do it. Look at Clark. This is incredible. It's hard to imagine a person taking that kind of beating and coming back. What a game fighter. Take nothing away from either one of these fighters. Clark coming back again. You've got to remember, throwing all that punch just takes a lot out of you, too. These people must be in incredible shape. The amount of workouts both of these fellas have gone through to be able to do that. Oh, Good left hook. The left hook staggers Clark. Gray scoring at will. And again, Clark, towards the end of the round, is actually saved by the bell. Chris Clark appears to be in They're trouble, but he's starting very good. display. Clark again bleeding through the nose. Gray's eye cut hasn't opened up yet. Look at Chris Clark, reminiscent of Muhammad Ali, dancing, almost mocking the veteran Gray. Just seconds after being checked out by the ring doctor. Look at him dance. What a gutsy performance. Oh, and he's straightened out by a right from Gray. But Clark keeps coming back as he has been doing for nine rounds so far. Clyde's eye is bleeding again. Good left hook by Clyde to the belly. Clark's in trouble again, but again, again, he comes back. Look at the leather being traded here. You've said it so many times, you can see it for yourself. This is incredible. And again, Clark goes to work on Dre's eye. is an amazing individual. Talk they're about both, guts. They're both thoroughbreds. There's no question about that. And there's certainly no energy shortage in this fight. Clyde must be wondering, what's holding this kid up? This is amazing. temporarily temporarily he's going to continue it I would hate to see this fight stop I think Clark talked him out of that Chris Clark in trouble
trouble here. If Gray can score, it'll be all over. But what courage on the part of Chris Clark to continue on. His biggest fight, he's only been in the ring 18 professional times. He's continuing on. He's not a quitter. If you've never seen Chris Clark fight before, you now have the utmost respect for him. The uppercuts are doing damage again. Mark Ungerman yelling to stop the fight. Clark waving him off. Clark has a cut over his left or right eye now. And he's punching back. This is incredible. Ungerman's corner, or Gray's corner, calling for Gray to finish him. But so far, Clark has proven to be a very game fighter. He's talking to Clyde now, saying, I'm okay. Come on, get me. He's taunting Clyde Gray. Look at Chris Clark. This is incredible. Unbelievable. And the cut is really open over Gray's right eye. Severe cut. Look at Clark. And he's punching Chris back. Clark. Apparently finished in the ninth round. It looked like it was all over. And now he comes out again with a burst of energy and puts by Gray in trouble. And Gray is in trouble with that punch. Talk about youth being served. Clark's left eye, Gray's right eye. They're both in trouble there. Now the crowd chanting, go Chris, go. And there was a solid left. It stiffened Clyde Gray momentarily. That landed right on Clyde's eye. This is right out of the old Hollywood script of Rocky, this one. some damage. Clark on the right side of your screen, Gray on the left side. They're both cut. They're both tired. They've both taken a lot of punches, and they both plan to take a lot more. And there's five big rounds left. Well, they've said it all along. I don't think it'll go 15, but they're sure going to try. Now, Clark with Gray in his own corner in trouble. and Gray's eye is really bleeding. It's spurting out blood. The right eye of Clyde Gray, look at the blood spurt out. He's going to be examined now. by the doctor after this round. Blood now is running in his eye. And so the tables have been turned very quickly by Chris Clark, the game fighter. He has reopened that cut badly over the right eye of Clyde Gray. And instead of the doctor going to Chris Clark's corner, look at the blood. This is incredible. Instead of the doctor going to Chris Clark's corner, he's going to be visiting Clyde Gray's corner. A severe cut. I doubt if they can stop that now. It looks, it's bleeding probably two different places now. Maybe there three. Are, there are two places, and there is a giant mouse under Clyde Gray's eye. It is incredible the amount of blood he is losing, and very fast. Under the eye. Over the eye. But still, he battles back. Talk about courage. Clyde Gray's got a cupboard full. And here's the end of round 10. We'll watch the corners. I believe they're calling for the doctors to go over to both corners. It'll be an interesting confrontation right now. There's two doctors in Clyde's corner. The doctor who is his chief second, who closes the cuts, and the commission doctor. several spots. It was at the corner of the brow. There is a mouse under his right eye. They're calling for the start of round 11. The doctor's still in Gray's corner. We'll see what the verdict is. Herb Ungerman very concerned. There's a lot of blood lost here by Clyde. They're going to let it go. They're stopping the fight. They're stopping the fight. Chris Clark is the new Commonwealth welterweight champion. This is incredible. They're stopping the fight at Too bad, too many places. 
right now. That's great. Chris, Chris, you're the new Commonwealth Roadway champ. How does it feel? It feels great. Didn't you think it really feels great? He, he threw a lot of punishment. He thought he had me hurt, but really he didn't. I didn't. He didn't fit me at all. Did he surprise you at all? No, I thought he'd come up stronger, and he did, but he didn't. Like, I found him. He wearing down a lot. I thought, you know, he's a guy wearing down like that. When he eighth round, I said, I'll let him go a couple more rounds and hit me all he wants. And see if he staggers or anything. He wobbled you pretty severely at several points in that fight. Yeah, did you right. figure it was over? No, no. It wasn't. I got to be. Uh, he didn't hurt me at all. I don't, it looked like he did, but really he didn't. He hit me a lot of shots, I know, but I was waiting for him. I was waiting for him to tie out, and he did, and that's when I took the coin. Okay, he's calling rematch. Do you want to fight him again? Sure, I'll fight Mike Reagan. I'll give him an even chance, sure. And uh, where do you go from here? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Give me a rematch. The fight was stopped because of a severe cut over your right eye. Did you agree with that decision? I can't see the cut, you know. I can't see how bad it was. I relied on my doctor. I relied on my doctor, uh, and that was all it took. He wants another rematch. The obvious question to rematch, uh, yeah, when do you want to do it and where? As soon as I healed up, I left to get a rematch. I, I had him out a couple of times. I let him get away. Uh, I figured when I, had him, when I did hit him, I should have followed up. I figured the one shot might have did it. I was too slow coming back. Did you underestimate Chris Clark? Yeah, I think I did. What did he show you didn't expect? Guts. He really took Come this back about... after being hurt, and that's what he mainly Just showed me. Just do the best, Clyde. Just do the best. So you definitely want a rematch, and you I want it here. I would love a rematch right back here. No place else for it. Uh, Clyde's eye is uh, Clark going to be able to do the same thing to it well with cuts you never know and I, I would state now the fight will not go beyond eight rounds well, well, well. Clyde will have to come out and make thunder right away uh, the other Clark is a tough tough kid and he knows this if he can stay out of the way stay in the middle of the ring for three or four rounds hey cuts open up so how about a prediction here <laughs> that gets him every time this seat got very hot all of a sudden <laughs> gentlemen, 15 rounds for the Commonwealth and Canadian Welterweight Championships. In the blue corner, from Three Mile Plains, Nova Scotia, and Toronto, he weighs 147 pounds, the former Welterweight Champion of the British Commonwealth, and at present, the Canadian Welterweight Champion, Clyde Gray. And listen to the response to Clyde Gray. And did you see the look of determination in his eyes? In the red corner, in the red corner from Halifax, he weighs 147 pounds. The Welterweight Champion of the British Commonwealth, Chris Clark. Championship. Interesting reaction to the introduction of both fighters. A look of determination in Clyde Gray's eyes. Obviously, the fact that he was announced as the former Commonwealth champ sunk in there. Chris Clark, who has a uh, voice of concern about the negative reaction to his rematch, uh, he's a little upset at the fact a lot of people don't think he's going to win this one. Vince, uh, what goes through a fighter's mind at this point? A thousand things. Am I ready? Did I train hard enough? All the little lies you told yourself previous, now they're running through your mind. This is the moment of truth right now. If you could walk between those two guys now with that look, you'd get electrocuted. <laughs> yes, the electricity is high here, 10,000 plus on hand at the Halifax Metro Center. And this is what they paid to see. Against this one going the distance are very high. This is uh, not something you would expect out of either fighter. They're both.